This demonstration will show how to capture support logs for the Virtual Storage Console for vSphere. The Virtual Storage Console, or VSC, contains three sub-components. The first being the VSC itself, the second being the backup and recovery module, which used to be called SMVI, and the provisioning and cloning tool, which used to be called Rapid Cloning Utility, or RCU. This is the main screen you would normally see when you first connect to vSphere. If you click on the Home tab and go to the NetApp logo, you will see on the left side the various subcomponents of the Virtual Storage Console. To collect the data we would like for support cases, we're going to go to our Data Collection link under the Virtual Storage Console tab. And under this link, there's an option for Export VSC Logs. By clicking this radio button and then clicking Submit, a zip file containing all of the folders is create all of the files is created just click save put it in a location that's easy to find and at that point you'll have the logs ready to upload to NetApp for the virtual storage console in some cases for the backup and recovery piece of the virtual storage console you may need additional information including the backups and scheduled backups XML file. These are files where the backup information and what's available to, in the backup catalog are stored. To do this, you would connect directly to the Virtual Center server, or the server that is running Virtual Storage Console, I should say, which is often the Virtual Center server, but does not have to be. You can go to the Program Files, NetApp, Virtual Storage Console, SMVI, Server, Repository, and here you will find all of the XML files that you sometimes need to upload for troubleshooting backup and recovery c cases. The second piece to any Virtual Storage Console case that you will often need to get is the ESX and Virtual Center logs themselves. And in order to do this task, you would click on the administration link above and click on export system logs. This will allow you to then select any combination of the ESX hosts for which you want to capture logs. In this case we have one ESX host so we can actually highlight the top level to highlight everything. And then the box is checked for include information from vCenter server and vSphere client. Click on the browse button to choose a location click OK, and then click OK again, and you can see from the bottom a task will be created to, to generate a support bundle. These can take some time as they do run a VM support, which is the local diagnostic tool on the ESX host. This is, can take 5-10 minutes depending on how busy the ESX server is. And it has to run this on all of the ESX hosts that you've selected in the previous box. Once the data collection has completed, you can ignore the security certificate warning and you can see the progress that we've got for all of the other components. Virtual Center server logs are pending, the ESX host logs have completed, and the vSphere client logs have completed. So once this is completed, you'll be able to close the box and use the data for uploading to NetApp. Once the Virtual Center server itself has completed the log capture, you can choose Close. Then you will notice we have all of the data we've collected in one place. You can create a new folder if you'd like. Take all of the files and drop them in. Create a zip file. You are now ready to upload your logs to your case for, at NetApp. This will conclude the section on collecting data for Virtual Storage Console cases.